Hello guys, it's Mr. Sugar back with another video, and today I'll be showing you, uh, I'll be showing the customization on the Baller STD, and it's based on the Range Rover something I forgot what it's based off of, and yeah, it has a money tech and everything, so before we go, please consider subscribing and liking, because we're trying to get to 300 subscribers by the end of this year. Arch covers, alright. There's no armor, oh, there it is. Do I really like the arch covers? It just makes it more unrealistic. Who would make it carbon? Like, yeah, I uh, personally am not a fan with arch. So I'm gonna leave that off. Armor, brakes, body trim. Primary, secondary, carbon, black. But stock, like secondary? I'll see what that is later. Small splitter, medium splitter, race mix splitter. Kind of like stock, rear bumpers, rear diffuser, yeah, no, we're not going with any diffuser. I mean, this one is nice, but it just doesn't look nice on the Range Rover. Engine, max set out, exhaust, squared. I like you guys just look at these. One that I like has to be stock. Hood, flare, okay, I gotta change the color on this. Silver, perfect. Don't worry, this is not the color we're going with the car. So flat hood. So it just like gets rid of uh, the the line going down. Sport hood just brings it back up. Vented sport hood, carbon, vented race hood, rally hood, and not gonna lie, this makes some weird, but this actually looks nice for Range Rover. But I see everyone doing this. Personally, I like the stock, but. This may, you guys may hate me for this, but I think this hood looks nice. The vintage race hood. Horn, no, Imani Tech. Do I do, which one do I do? Do I really want to have, yeah, we do that one. Lights, Xenon, Every. Really? They put the DD liveries? The livery, sorry. They legit put the deity livery on here. Mirrors. I feel like I feel like the stock ones are perfect. But we're gonna do that like that. Mud guards, you, you guys know me with my mud guards. I need mud guards on any car. Black, we're gonna do that black. Uh do I have like a rich plate? I guess I can put my clean plate, even though it's not really gonna be clean. Yeah, it's just for my evil C8. My crew color, so I'll put the crew color right here now. Um, the crew color is not really suiting this car, but for this video I'm going to put it on. I may change it later, so yeah. What does second year change? Oh, so it changes stitching, right? Yeah, yeah changes stitching, trim color. Alright, I think I want like a straw brown interior. Yeah, it looks nice. Roof, full primary, full secondary, full carbon, and full black. I kind of like the full primary, but I don't want to be like, hey, I, I got a full primary roof, but I'm going to do it. Roof, uh, spoiler. They're legit using all the old, bruh. Skilled is going to put this wing on, or one of these wings on, I know he is. Skilled, if you're watching this, please make a good build. Not with a big spoiler. Please, it's a Range Rover. They're supposed to be clean. Sun strips, plastic, primary, and secondary suspension. Oh, wait, what? You can slam this? I, like, I think I like sports suspension. Transmission, turbo, wheels, track. I don't see anyone putting Ford Star wheels. But I think they really suit this car. So let me see what kind of other wheels we have. Ooh, pure business looks good. I don't want to really go for like Mercies or stock, cause like you know everyone puts their own favorite wheels. But yeah, I've already seen lots of people put those wheels on. So ooh, why do these actually look good on here? Like legit. I'm not framing these wheels, but damn, they look nice. Oh, the Mercies. 
check sport wheels for a second. Oh, well, how do the ground ride, the ground ride stuck in chrome? Ooh. Oh, oh, yep, we're going ground rides. Uh, tire, we're not doing tires iron, we don't need to do that, and we're not going to do any of that. Windows, it's, I guess, if you're doing like a gang or a mafia build, you can do that. But yeah, I'm going to change some options to put this to carbon. Bumper, I gotta figure out where something else was. See, I don't know if I like this hood or this hood better. I don't know if this is the hood on the actual car, but I really like this. Like, legit, I think this hood really suits it. But you know what I didn't notice? There's no skirt option. Which one would look better with the thumbnail? Yeah, screw we just leave. Nah. Yeah, we'll put that on. Alright. I gotta change the suspension, because this suspension's killing me. Alright, I'll say that. Alright, me guys wouldn't stay like outside. Alright, it is daylight outside. We got the baller STD. And yeah, let's hope I don't get demonetized for saying that word. But yeah. Let's see how fast this thing is with the money tech. Would I would I buy this for 1.750 mil? I mean if you have the money like me, well I kinda don't have the money. But I grind, so I'm good. I would say buy it. But is it really worth it to get the money tech upgrade? Because like you know, you have an agency and you were looking to say, oh, I should get this car. I don't only get this car if you're doing like role plays or you're in public sessions, you know, everything like that. But I don't know if this car is really worth 1.7 million. Like I would have paid like 2.5 million dollars for this. But the Terminus is coming out in a few weeks or months. I, I really wanted that instead of this. But yeah, I don't really think I really want to keep this car. Sorry for the, like, I know people are like, oh, you don't like a Range Rover? I do have Range Rover Hot Wheels. And I have this one as a Hot Wheel too, but like, the rear end is 